It's been almost three years since the massacre at Parkland High School and almost five years since a gunman took 49 lives at Pulse nightclub. Wow, that time has really flown. And now some lawmakers are renewing their calls for a ban on military-style assault weapons. As political reporter Christopher Heath explains, that call, though, seems to continue to go unanswered. The gun used in the Pulse nightclub shooting, a Sig Sauer MCX semi-automatic rifle. The gun used in Parkland, an AR-15 semi-automatic rifle. These are the guns Florida lawmakers want to get off the streets. The single common denominator of every one of those shootings was the weapon used itself, the assault weapon and the high-capacity magazine. On Monday, lawmakers were joined by the families of survivors in calling for an assault weapons ban. I lost my son and best friend. Manuel Oliver's son, Joaquin, was killed in the shooting at Marjorie Stoneman Douglas High School. Shot four times with an AR-15. For Manuel and others, the calls for this ban are not new. For me, the story begins cowering under a table in my old middle school. Zoe Weissman, who is now in high school, has made these pleas before. So, too, has Gail Schwartz. My nephew, Alex, was shot and killed by an AR-15. In the wake of Parkland, Florida did something it didn't do after Pulse, pass legislation. Lawmakers raised the age to buy a gun to 21 and put in place red flag laws, but any ban on assault weapons or high capacity magazines has never even come to the floor for a vote. We've been filing this for five years now. I asked Orlando Representative Carlos Guillermo Smith about the bill and if it has a realistic chance to pass. He admits this legislation, like the four previous bills, will struggle to get a hearing in Tallahassee. That doesn't mean that we stop fighting. We have to continue this effort as long as it takes. While an assault weapons ban is unlikely to see a vote this year in the Florida legislature, there are other bills dealing with guns that are moving forward, including one that would allow a specific use of concealed carry in churches and other religious buildings. Reporting in Orlando, Christopher Heath, Channel 9, Eyewitness News.